everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Shayla thanks so much for joining me today so today I am going to be showing you guys um, three different ways that you can make some journaling cards of varying sizes for your junk journals um, so these are kind of the prototypes I came up with so I'll show you these first and then we'll jump into it so the first one is um, a little playing card a vintage playing card and I did, um, it's just scrapbook paper, 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. And I also embossed it. I don't know if embossing is the right word, but I used um, gilding wax. Um, and I just kind of rubbed it with my finger over some of the distressed looking parts to give it a little shine. Um, and then I put one of my clusters, which I have right over here, um, and some stickles, which are just these little kind of gem looking drops um so i'll show you all of those uh items as well in case you want to make your own or the next time you're out thrift shopping or shopping for craft supplies you can keep an eye out for those so that's the first one and it's pretty small so this can tuck into most um pockets that you have in your journal the second one i made is significantly bigger I actually, believe it or not, did not have any regular sized index cards, which is, I feel like that's a staple for junk journalers. So I digress, but I used a bigger index card and here's the back. I did distress it with some distress ink um, to give it that age look since it is very white. And then I actually used a sewing pattern. So that's a crumpled sewing pattern in the background. Um, I did some... Uh, I guess edge punches right here just for some interest. We also have those lovely stickles again. I did them in pink right up here. Um, and then that's another little cluster that I had made and I put a little sticker and a quote. So that's the second one. It is a little bit bigger, it's on the big side, but that's okay. It's nice to have varying sizes because you never know, you know, this could be tucked into a belly band um, or something like that. So sometimes it's nice to have bigger sized uh, journal cards. And then the third one, um, this one I kind of went a little crazy with. I had a lot of fun with though. Um, so the third one is a actually a folder. It's a folder that had a design on it. And I did, I made a little space for writing. Um, that's what this is. I just put a piece of ripped, um, I guess, paper down um, I actually use some of that sewing pattern again really trying to use that um, this is just a little fussy cut of a tree and I just thought I collage and then these two are actually for the other side so the other side I covered in um, a like vintage I guess typewritten page um, and then I put this little fussy cut right here and I distressed it and I just put, just to show that it's kind of a little pocket, I put a game card in there. Um, and then I just put another little fussy cut right there. So that one was really fun to make. Um, it is a little bit more bulky because it's a folder, but I had a lot of fun doing this one. So I'll show you guys how to do all three of these. So let's jump into it. So the first one we'll do is the playing card. Oh, this one. Um, and I have, I have two playing cards here. So I have a, just a vintage looking one. I really liked the numbers, um, on that one. And then I have this one, which is actually, I think like a game card. I never heard of this game, but, um, I thought this one would be good because it's kind of a little modern and that usually I use more vintage things, but I thought this one might be good to cover both sides with. So we'll do one like that as well. So let's jump into it. Um, we'll start with this one and I'm just gonna, I wanna keep this cause I like the back. So I'm gonna work on this side. And for my example, I did use some 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. So we're gonna do that. Um, and I picked out this one. I thought this one was really pretty. I don't know, it's super cute. So I've been into florals lately. I feel like I'm always into florals actually. <laughs> Um, let's see, I was trying to see where one of the flowers are, but I think that will be good. Okay, so now I'm just going to take, um, let's see, I'm going to take my Beacon 3-in-1 glue, 
um, which is just like a clear silicone glue. It's kind of like an all-purpose glue. Um, and all I'm gonna do is just put some glue down. The book that's underneath is my glue book, so it avoids me getting a bunch of glue on my mat. I'm sure if y'all know the mats are not cheap, so I'm trying to keep it in best, as best of condition as I can. <laughs> Um, okay, so we have the glue down. So now I'm just gonna stick it down and hopefully we'll get some of that flour. Okay. Make sure we get the edges down. Okay, there's that. So now um, we are going to, I'm gonna trim it a little bit with my trimmer. You can do this with scissors, but let's see. We're just gonna cut that down. Definitely save this. That's a big piece that you could use for other projects. Um, and then I'm gonna cut it down just a little more. And these are like, you could definitely um, mass make these if that's what you're looking to do. I would just recommend doing one step all at the same time and then moving on. It's a little bit faster that way. Um, okay, so now we need our scissors. And I'll show you a little trick. So I'm going to cut this out. Okay. Nothing fancy here. Although I cannot cut, I feel like, a straight line to save my life. A little bit harder than it looks. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Almost. I'm scared I'm gonna cut the card. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We cut out that and that's on the back. Ooh, we got a pretty, pretty floral image. We can save these to make clusters out of. Um, so we'll just set those aside. So now I have, um, you know, it's square and obviously my card is rounded. So for the corners, you could either cut them, um, but sometimes, you know, you get a little cut happy and then you cut, you end up cutting the card. So you can use a sanding block um, and just kind of buff it out. I would just say go slowly because it's very easy. And see, I over, I didn't cut all the way. but it's really easy to kind of overdo it. So um, just go slow. Hopefully y'all can, can y'all see that? Okay. I apologize for the sound. I should probably put a warning up saying chalkboard sounds ahead. <laughs> uh, you know, the chalkboard sound never bothered me too much, I feel like. Um, but to each his own. Okay, those are good. Last one. There we go. So now we have beautiful rounded edges. So, so cool. Okay, so we have that, which is just gorgeous on its own. You could just leave it at that, you know. But, of course, let's at least put a little something on there. So here is my, zoom y'all out, oh, wrong way, sorry. Um, here is all of my um, clusters that I have made. So maybe we can find one that will, and I have all kinds in here. Some are small, some are bigger, but maybe we can find one that is, you know, that um, would complement it well. Ooh, that one's pretty, that's huge. Okay. Oh, that's cute. That's kind of cute. I know it's a little busy, but we'll set that one aside. Maybe it'll be, maybe that's just what it will be. That's kind of cute. 
any small ones. Ooh, I, I kind of like the butterfly. I don't know if y'all can see that well. Okay, we'll set that one aside too. Um, let's see. And you can always just put it in the middle. That's kind of cute. Okay. Okay, we have a few options. So let's just go with that and see which ones. So first we have this one, which I think if I did use it, I would put it in the middle, which is kind of cute. I feel like it blocks a lot of the image though. We have this one, which lines the bottom. I do kind of like that. What if we turned it into like a pocket within a journal card? And then we have this one, which I'm just gonna say I think is too big. And then we have this really cool funky one, which we could do right there. I don't know, I feel like that blocks the image. Okay, let's go with this one. And we're gonna add stuff to it, don't worry. Um, let's see, get our silicone glue. And I, I am gonna make this into a pocket. So I'm just going to glue, I'm just gonna do glue like an L shape. That way if we can tuck something in. Okay, just like that, L shape. And then we'll just set that down there. Make sure it's even. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I think that looks actually really cute. Okay, but it does need some sparkle. So let's pull out our um, bowl of goodies. Okay, so let me show you these really quick. So these are stickles, in case you're not familiar. There's all kinds. Um, I mostly get mine from thrift stores. Um, some of them, if you know, like fabric paint, like puff paint, that's kind of the same thing. Um, and I think you could probably use that as well, but Nouveau Drops, that's a pretty popular brand. Um, obviously this is the Tim Holtz Distress Stickles, um, which I think is just the same thing as a normal stickle. Um, yeah, see that one is a fabric, it says Fabric Rider, so technically for fabric, but it's still usable on paper. Um, and then this is actually the Gilders Paste Wax, I guess. I got this off of Amazon and it basically gives shine um, and it dries like immediately, which is really nice, but it gives shine. So I think what I'm gonna do is I might do some gilding. Um, let's bring y'all in so you can actually see. I might do some gilding right here um, at the top and then we'll do like a row of stickles at the bottom. So I'll do stickles last because they take a second to dry. But just so you can see how this stuff works. So literally I just use my finger and just rub it a little bit. Okay, now it's on my finger. And then all you have to do is just kind of smush it on there. That's it, that's it. Super, and it's, this was pretty, I not, I mean, I guess for something so small, maybe it's, let's see, you know, maybe it is a little expensive. I think I paid like $12 for it, but this will last me until the end of time. So I'm not worried about it. This, I feel like this was a good purchase in my opinion. Okay. And let me show you. So I just did that. I just did a little bit, but look at that. Look at how sparkly it is. Well, I guess shiny, but still, I love shiny. Um, okay, so now we have that. And like I said, that basically dries immediately. So you can keep working on your projects. You don't have to worry about it. And I do think they have other like colors as well. So like different golds, um, I think maybe a silver, I don't know. So that's kind of nice if you wanna add some shine. Um, my hand, I don't know, I'll just wipe it off on a paper, try and get what I can off, and then we'll, we'll just move on. Okay, so now let's add a little bit of stickles. And I'm thinking, oh, it'd be nice if y'all could see. So I have this gold, 
but I also have, what if we did green? I'm kind of liking the green. This one is called lime green. Let's see if there's any left in here. When I use stickles, I do like to test them on a paper just to make sure there's no clogs or anything. Okay, this one's ready to go. So when you're doing stickles, you just wanna go down and up. You don't wanna pull it to the side or anything like that because then you'll get something that looks like that. So, <laughs> all right, so let's just go for it here. Hopefully y'all can see. Okay, down. And I'm concentrating, so I apologize if I'm a little quiet. This is a very, oh no, very serious process. Okay, we saved it. Maybe one more. Beautiful. And then, see, and that's the problem with stickles because then it's like, I could do 50 million of them now. You just wanna keep going, so. <laughs> okay, so there is that. Look at how beautiful that is. So, so very cute. So that's the first one. So we'll set that aside and let it dry. And like I said, we're gonna keep this side. So, you know, we have some overhang, but that's, I'm fine with that. Um, let's find something maybe though to tuck in here really quick. I'm just gonna reach over and get um, one of these little box things. I am trying to figure that out right now. Okay, maybe one of these. These are just some um, printables that I had cut out. So maybe we can put just something. Eh, I don't know if I like that. I'm trying to see. Oh no. It's a dangerous game with the wet stickles, I'll say that. Oh, maybe we could put this little butterfly here. Okay. That's kind of cute. I know it's small, but you know, it could work. We could do that and then maybe, there we go, look at that. Okay, because we made it a pocket. Isn't that cute? Ready to go, okay. Let's move on, I know we have a lot more to do. So for the next one, zoom y'all out just a little bit here. For the next one, um, it's gonna be this phase 10 card. And this one we're gonna cover both sides. So I'm actually going to, this is just a book page. Um, and I am going to go ahead and glue some book page down. Okay. And I'm gonna use my Scotch craft stick for this one. Um, I think that it should hold just fine. So let's see. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't really have time to read this, so I usually try and skim things. Um, you know, just to make sure they're appropriate. <laughs> because, you know, you never know, like an old book, something like that. So I do like to look at that stuff, but I think we're good. And I did kind of put it in the middle of the text, but there is a reason for that. Um, it's so that way my card will have more text on it. So it's a little more text heavy. Okay. Okay, cut that, that was super easy. And now let's go ahead and do the same thing. We can sand it now. Okay. 
then I have to say the sanding block idea definitely probably wasn't my idea. Um, I know I've seen other people do it, but man, is it a game changer? Always have a sanding block in your craft room or like one of those nail file sanding blocks. I think that's what this is, but it definitely is um, a game changer. Okay, so now we have this lovely little card to play with, but I do want to put something on the other side. And actually, I am thinking maybe let's do um, like a map page or something. I think that would be kind of neat. So I'm going to put y'all on pause for just a second while I go grab some map paper. Okay, I'm back. So I grab, I was able to grab a piece of a map. As you can see, I've already started using. It's a National Geographic um, map, but I thought this front page actually was kind of neat. And it should just tear. There we go. So we'll use this. And I kind of want to get these like mountains in here. So maybe we'll glue it right here. And I think that worked really well for the book page, so I am just going to do the same thing and just use the glue stick. I wasn't too sure because the surface of um, the the surface of the cards are a little smooth and waxy, but it seems to be working just fine. So we'll do that. Let me scoot a little bit. Okay. So now we have that. And I'm going to cut it again. You can see here. I hope y'all are having a great day. I have no idea when this video is going to come out. So I'll just say I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> Um, I started a new job. I don't know if I've told y'all that, but I did start a new job. So that has been taking a little bit out of me, which is why I haven't been so present. But, um, hopefully I feel like I'm, I'm on the mend, you know, getting a good schedule down. So we shall see. Okay, so now we have that on the other side, which is really cool, actually. Um, so same thing, I'm just gonna sand this down. Cue the chalkboard noises. So now we have a cute little journaling card and I'm going to ink around the edges as well. So I'm going to grab my vintage photo distress oxide and then I kind of wanted to just ink around this side. Okay, so now we have that, which made it look 10 times as old. And I think we should definitely do something, but what? Um, let's see, we could do, we could just put like a cute little saying, just reaching for things here. Maybe we do it on this side. That kind of looks nice. Or, no. That's kind of cool. Maybe we just do that. I feel like this side's a little busy. Okay, let's work on this side. So we can do that and then 
Ooh, I like that. All right, let's put that down. At least we have a kind of a direction here. <laughs> Okay, so now we have that, which is actually super cute. Maybe, oops. Maybe we can, okay. Sorry, I was fidgeting with that. Oh, the little butterfly is adorable. So many cute things. Oh, that's pretty. What if we just did that? That looks really nice. Maybe, maybe like that. What do we think? I think that looks really cute. Okay, let's do that and then, or is that too much? That might be too many words. Okay. Can't decide here. Stop looking. That's my problem. I will keep looking and looking. Okay. So. All right. Okay. There's that. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. And it's cute the way it is. I don't think it needs anything. So we'll leave that one. That will be just more of a flat card, which is fine. Um, but let's go ahead and start on the second one. So I'm going to grab a few things and clean up and then I will be back to show you how to do the second one. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I grabbed a few things and I'll show y'all um, for the second one, which is the bigger one, the index card one. So I did grab another index card. Um, these are the thin ones. I'm pretty sure I probably got these at Dollar Tree or something um, way back in the gap, I guess. I don't know. Um, but they are very thin. They're almost papery thin. So this one did turn out kind of on the thin side, but it does get a little bulky because of the pattern. But I digress. We'll continue on. Um, and then also I have um, a small amount of recipe cards. So I thought if you have that at home, maybe you're like me and don't have index cards, you could definitely use a recipe card and just cover one of the sides. And then on the back, you know, you have some lines already for someone to journal with. Um, so we'll use the bigger one and then we might make a second one as well. Um, so this one is pretty big. Um, I do have my sewing pattern. You can find these at most thrift stores. Um, this one, I guess, belonged to Judy D. So thank you if you're watching. Um, but I just take the sewing pattern and I do look for like interesting spots, like spots I think would look maybe, you know, kind of neat on um, a card. And I do use the blank side. But I'm kind of liking this area right here. So let's go ahead and we're just going to cut into it. If you're a wild crafter, you could just rip it. Um, you know, there is no rules. And then we'll just cut this down. Oh, maybe I'm being wild. Okay. So I think I like this right, right here that's nice because it's been folded so there's kind of already a, a cutting guide I guess of sorts okay so we have our piece that I have selected 
Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to put glue all over this card and I'm just going to use my glue stick. Nothing fancy. Really make sure you get the corners and the edges. And I will say this paper, the sewing paper, of course, it's thin. So once you stick it down, it is down. Um, so that is something to keep in mind before you go for it. Okay. So I have this and what actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to crumple it first, get it nice and crumply, and then I am going to unravel it and I'm just going to stick it down and where it goes, it goes. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stick it down. There we go. Perfect. And we want that crumpliness. I don't know if you can see that. See how it's not straight and there's lines and everything. And I'll, I'll show you why. Okay. So you can, at this point, either use your sanding block. Oh, no. Uh, okay. That's okay. Um, you can either use your sanding block to sand this off. I'm going to trim it. But then I will... I just trimmed some of the card, so there's that. Okay. Oh, sticking. Okay, try not to trim your index card like I did. <laughs> oh, goodness. Like your first one comes out great, so then you're like, I'm gonna do a video on this, and then it's just a hot dumpster fire, so I'm just kidding. But I do feel like sometimes I'm just a hot mess on these things. <laughs> Maybe that's why you watch it. I don't know. Um, okay, so now I have that, which you can't really tell that I cut the card. Um, this is peeling up though glue down. Okay, and any parts that look like they're peeling, or like maybe it's a double piece, just make sure you glue those down. That's important. Okay, so we have that. So I think what I want to do is I want to do the same thing I did last time. So I am going to cut these edges. And let's see if I have a punch. I'm digging through my punches. Um, to see if I have some sort of, this one's kind of neat. So this one cuts it, I think, on the side. So let's just do that. Oh, okay, maybe not. That, that looks awful. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's a tiny little... kind of gives it that ticket look. It's just cutting the edges off. Okay, that's cool. I like that. All right, so now we have that. And I am going to use some Distress Inks. I'm going to use my Vintage Photo, of course. Um, but then I'm also going to use like a fun color. So let's see. Last time I did use, if you can't tell, like kind of a pink dusty rose color. But I think this time, let's do, oh, let me look at my colors here. Um, we could do, what if we did orange? Like a card, I have carved pumpkin. Okay, let's try that and see what we get. All right. So first things first, I'm actually going to do my um, my main color, so the card pumpkin. And what you want to do is I'm actually going to rub it gently over all of the little uh, kind of crease marks 
but it highlights it. So you'll see once I am done here, So you'll see that it kind of made those spots a little darker, but it just kind of highlights it, which I think is neat. Um, and I am gonna go around the edges too. I apologize, there's someone revving their engine outside. Uh, um, I live on a road that's, you know, live off of a road that's where it's easy to do that, to kind of just like gun it. So I hear that often, um, <laughs> to be honest with you, but it's okay. I go the speed limit though. Um, I feel like I'm actually a pretty cautious driver. Okay, so I did the edges. So we have some orange going on. This is so giving me Halloween vibes, I love it. Um, and then now I'm gonna use my vintage photo and I'm gonna kind of just like kiss the edges a little bit. It doesn't have to be fully covered. And I don't wanna fully cover it obviously because I put orange down. But I find that this gives it like a burned look or burnished, I don't know if that's the right word. I feel like I'm just making up stuff. Um, <laughs> but it does give it, you know, kind of like a an aged, I don't know, an aged look. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, there we go. And then actually I'm gonna do on the other side some distressing because that is a very white index card. Wouldn't it be neat if they made um, like index cards that looked old? I mean, I'm sure people make those, but you know, maybe you have an old leathery office or something you want old index cards that was just a random thought of mine okay so now i'm just gonna gently smush this around on here and that's gonna get rid of some of that white okay that looks wonderful so now we have that it's all grungy and smudgy on the back. And then the front, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous sewing pattern, orange amazingness going on. And I thought what might be cool just to do something different. I have this giant, wow, well, it doesn't even fully get in the frame. Okay, I have this giant flower stamp. And I thought, what if I just like stamped it right here, like on this empty part? So I think we're gonna try doing that and we'll see, we'll hope that it goes well. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna use my little glue book here to actually stamp it because I, that, um, and this stamp has never been used. It's a really nice stamp though. And I'll probably use um, black ink, I believe. I'm gonna use the stays on jet black. I have a distress oxide in black, but I find that they don't dry as fast um, as the uh, distress inks, and I don't have that one, so. Okay, and I'm just literally trying to ink this big giant stamp. I think this ink pad might be getting a little dry as well. Okay, it's so really putting some force in there. I will say this ink pad smells really good. Like it smells like, I don't know, like a really nice candle or something. <laughs> okay, so I've inked my stamp. We're gonna hope for the best. I'm actually gonna like get up here so I can attempt to do this. You put it down and that is gonna be it. Okay. Really just push on it. I feel like I'm gonna break it. All right, we're gonna take it off. Ooh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. 
Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, now that we have that, I don't want to do anything else to it. Um, <laughs> I'm just amazed that it turned out so well. Okay, that was a great idea. So use your stamps. Lesson from me, use your stamps. So I think maybe what we could do is, let me see if I have any clusters here. Ugh, I just love it the way it is though. I don't know, maybe we leave it. I have this yellow one. That could be pretty. Um, let's see, y'all can't see anything here. And I have some bigger clusters too, but we're not here for that. Tasted. I just love that. It is too, too cute. Maybe. We could do something like that. That's kind of cute. Okay, I keep picking that one up. I have this one as well. Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay, let's do that. Move those aside. This one I will use some Fabri Tac, Fabri Fix, silicone glue, whatever you want to call it. Beacon three in one. Okay, feels a little stuck though. Sometimes it needs help, that's okay. Gosh, look at how cute that is. So cute. Okay, so that's our second one. And then let's go ahead and let's just do this one. So for this one, I guess we'll just cover one of the sides. All right, we're just gonna rip it. sit back down here. All right. So I'm just going to cut as best I can. have our little card make sure all the edges are glued and this one we could do let me see if I have I don't have too many edge punches but we could maybe do I wonder how this one may work let's try it oh it doesn't have a um, stopper though Okay, maybe not that one, but I have this, which is a 
I forgot. Oh, it's, there's some stuff in it. It's a... Do we think it's going to work? All right, we're going to sacrifice this card if it doesn't work, but let's just try it out. Okay. Mm, we got something. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. It's a little different, right? Interesting. Okay, I don't know what we're going to do with it, but... We did it. So let's see. Um, maybe we can. Hmm. Maybe we'll just put something. Let's dig through here. I do like this butterfly. Oh, this little bird is cute. Well, we could do something like that. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I'm not sure on this one. That looks neat. How does it look in the balance? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for watching me deliberate here. Um, so maybe what we can do is let's go ahead and ink it. And I don't want to do orange this time. I think I want to do just some other color. So let me see. Um, we could do, do I have one for this? No. Oh, I do. Okay, we could do prize ribbon. It's like a blue color. All right, and I'm just gonna gently over it. That looks neat. Look at that. Okay. And then be really gentle with that. Perfect. That looks beautiful. All right, now, and I think I like it the way that it is, so we will just keep it as that. The back I will do a little vintage photo on. It's already kind of yellowed, but we'll just make it look a little old. Beautiful. All right, so we have that. And then maybe we'll just put like a neat little sticker or an image. I don't know if I have. Um, and I'm just looking through these. Here, try them so you can see as well. That's kind of neat. Okay. Yeah, I have some interesting clusters. I like making clusters though. They're really fun. I highly recommend it. Okay, we could do 
What if we did something like that? That's kind of neat and funky, right? Let's see. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, we're gonna do that. So that's what I did. And I'm just gonna glue down the back page. Or actually, I'll just glue this part and so that way you can see the bottom as well. Okay. Okay. Look at how cool that is. That actually looks really neat. And then if we really wanted to, we could put like a word or something at the top here. Maybe come what may. Oh, I love it. Look at it. It's so cute. So, so neat. Okay, so we made these two out of some recipe cards, index cards. Very, very cute. Um, okay, and then last but not least, we have one more to do. So let me grab the things for that and then we will get started. Okay, I'm back. So the last one is a little more detailed, so I'll just make one of them, um, but I'll go slow. So you'll need a folder. This is the one that I already cut up. Um, it was just a file folder. I actually got these at the thrift store. I think I got them at the Goodwill outlet, but I loved the design on them. I just think they're pretty as is. Um, and this one, let's leave it long because I really like that flower. So on the other side, I did put some like typewriter type page. Um, it was just like a vintage piece of paper that I found. So here it is actually. So we're going to use the other half. We're just going to use the other half and there's some like writing on the back which is kind of neat um so i'm gonna go ahead and glue this and get my glue book here all right make sure we get the corners really well okay perfect Now we're just gonna stick this on there. Okay. All right. And I'm just gonna cut this, same as all of the other times. So let's turn it around and see what we're left with. And look at that. Okay, that's neat. Um, so on this one, I did put some little things on it, but I'm gonna decorate the other side um, before I start doing the little grommets and whatnot. So let's see. Um, I did grab some of those papers. Maybe I just set them down. Maybe I didn't grab them. I feel like they're right in front of my face. Um, well, I don't know what I did with those. Okay. I was looking for this um, little paper. Hold on one second. I'm not going to turn y'all off. I'm just gonna grab a few more. Okay. All right, so let's use January 7th. This is just from like a little notepad I have. 
um, that has cute little quotes at the bottom. But I do just kind of want this top part. So I'm just going to tear it and hope for the best. Okay. Okay, so we have this little cute... And actually, I think that's going to work really well. I'm going to tear this just a little bit. Okay. Oh, I'm getting stuck by the other ones. So I'm going to, I think, put it right here. Because I feel like I shouldn't cover it. Okay. We'll put this here. Where's the glue book? And actually one thing I didn't do is I didn't distress it and I wished I did. So let's go ahead and do that. Just so that way it kind of pops a little bit more from the um, folder page or from the card, the journaling card that we're making. recently we've started at nighttime um re-watching the harry potter movies oh i what what a wonderful set of movies now i will say i am not i did not read the books i attempted to read the books and i just i guess maybe it just was not my writing style i know a lot of people really liked them and i really do wish like i could have gotten into them which I don't know now, I feel like, you know, trying to read them, maybe it might be a little young for me. But I love the movies so, so much. Um, there was just a lot of, it's just very like real, I guess, like, you know, growing up and losing your, you know, um, oof, look at that, isn't that neat? But losing like, you know, your childlike sense of wonder and having to deal with like reality. Like it's just all over, hands down, amazing. Um, but anyways, I digress. So we did that part. So I'm gonna flip it over on the other side and I'm gonna work on this part. So um, from here, you'll see that I have these little images. I actually got them from this random, let me see if I can show you, a piece of paper. So I'm actually gonna trim, or I'm going to cut two of these out. And I think I will cut out, okay, we'll do this little cherub. And I'm just gonna kind of fussy cut it. I was not perfect with my fussy cut and I'm fine with that. Um, it does not have to be perfect at all. I did that and I'm gonna cut it off just because it's just gonna stick out and there's no reason for that. So let's see if we can just trim it a little bit. And it was a little big so I actually angled it and I think I'm gonna do that for this one as well. Um, it would be kind of nice if it was like straight, but maybe maybe we will do it straight and I'll just trim off that. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, I kind of want it right there. I'm gonna ink it first, that's the first part because it is definitely a little white. Um, make it a little, and that way too, if someone gets this, you know, they can write something here, so. I'll leave that blank 
not everything has to be decorated. I'm slowly learning that. Not everything has to be decorated. I always feel like I'm like, oh, it's too plain, but you don't have to decorate everything. And I'm just checking because I want these to kind of be in sync here. So I have my lovely little, um, I think these are grommets. I'm going to use the black ones. Um, I think they looked really nice with the image. Um, so I'm pull two of these out. I think these are called grommets. I'm pretty sure. And I'm going to use a tool that is called a crocodile. Um, it just basically, it'll punch the hole for me, for me, and then it'll also um, smush the grommet down. It's a nice little tool. It takes a lot of the handwork out. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. Hopefully you can see this. I do find it is slightly unwieldy though. Um, but I'm gonna punch this right about there. Okay, so that's the first one. And then I'm gonna put this in here. Now, a little mistake that I made is to keep your paper exactly where you want it to be um, before you smush it down. Because once you smush it down, you can't move this paper at all. So now we're gonna take our top part right there and smush it down just like that. Okay, one's done. So now we're gonna do the other one. Pretty, pretty easy, you know, once you start doing it. Um, let's see, it's the side. All right. Same thing. Just gonna try and line it up with the other one as best as I can. And then put this one in. smush it down perfect so now we have that and it's actually a little pocket and on the back it doesn't look too bad either I'm gonna go ahead and trim this off because we don't need that so now we have that which is super cute I actually really like it and then um, let me see if I can zoom y'all in a little bit there we go um, so we'll put something in there just to mark that you're able to take it in and out. Um, but I think we should put something down here. Maybe, let me see if there's anything. Or what we could do. I think that will look good. Okay, so I'm reaching over here to my lace and trim. So I have this trim, very, very cute. But I'm thinking, what if we just line the top with it? I think that would look so, so cute. Okay. Just a smidge. All right, so I'm gonna cut this off, probably right about like. Probably shouldn't be using those scissors, but we're just gonna go with it. And then I am gonna use um, some three and one for this because it is fabric. Right. Beautiful. And now let's just stick it down. Okay. So we have that, look at how cute that is. I'm going to trim off the sides here. Oh, be careful. There's one. And two. Okay, and it even looks cute on the other side. Look at that. Oh. Still drying a little bit. 
Okay, so now we have that. On the other side, I know we did a little bit of extra, so we'll do the same here. I did use some sewing patterns, so let's just stick with that. I have some little scraps of sewing pattern that we can use. So I just kind of start tearing and then see where like things fit. So like maybe I'll put one right there. And they don't have to all have, you know, like words or something on it. I find just even like a different material looks really neat. Um, so you can do all kinds of things. Like you could do music paper, which maybe we'll do. Um, let me see. Maybe I'll pull some out. I know I have some, I think, down here that I can just reach, reach for. Uh oh, maybe I lost that piece. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's kind of neat. Oh, can't, you can't see. Right, take that. And let's do another little piece. Maybe like right there. And if the piece is really small, you can always just take your finger and rub it against the glue too. Um, it does not take much for the sewing patterns. Okay, there's that. And then let's do one more little piece. Maybe we'll put that one like right there. Perfect, isn't it cute? Oh, it's turning out so cute. And then I'm reaching for my music paper here because I do have like some scraps that we can use. So I just ripped off a little piece. Let's see if we can't just turn it into something cute. Maybe we can do something like that. Okay. All right, so we can do something cute like that. It's coming together, it's coming along. Okay. And then, we'll just do a little piece here and there. And you could stamp on here, um, you could use stickers, and really the sky is the limit, so. Have fun with it. That's the point anyways, is to have fun. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I forget that because I'm stressing, I don't know. But that's important. Okay, so we have that, super, super cute. I'm absolutely in love with it. I do think we need a little word or something. So let's see. Um. Okay. Collect beautiful moments. Okay, we'll do that one. I think it would look good right here. Oh, look at how cute that is. So there's some writing space for someone. And then we also have the back. Now I can put maybe one more thing. Let's see. Just reaching here. Sorry about the noise. Just trying to see what's available. I have some stamps. This is my little stamp 
um, box. Ooh, that, these are pretty. You could do, or maybe on the other side. Just looking here. I just feel like it needs a little something. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, maybe no. Maybe we could do something like that. Or... That maybe. Okay. I'm not liking any of that, apparently. What if we put this right here? I think that would look super cute. Okay, or, no, I like it right here. What do we think? Is it too busy? Maybe, maybe it's too busy. I don't know, now I'm retreating. Retreat, okay, I have this one. It's a little cute. Okay, well, I can't decide on one. Ooh, that's kind of cute. I know it's an O, but, you know, maybe like XOXO or something. Okay, let's put that one down. Let's see here. Just put some glue. I usually just put it in the middle. All right. There we go. Okay, so we have made some excellent things today. Let's bring them all out. Ooh. Zoom y'all out just a little bit so you can see them all. So we made these two with um, our folders. So these are little folder journaling cards. Super, super cute. Um, we also made the ones out of index cards, which is right here. And this one was out of a recipe card. Very, very neat and different. And then we can't forget about our lovely playing card. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. If you're still watching, this is hilarious. So I did those stickles and I was ranting and raving about not putting anything on top of them. And of course, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I put one on top. So that's just the life of a crafter. That's what happens, but we just keep on going. So we made these um, lovely little journaling cards as well. Um, so all together, we made some pretty great things. Um, please let me know, you know, which one, which method you liked best, um, whether it's the folder, the playing card or the recipe card or index card. I would love to know. I would definitely want your feedback. Um, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please like it so I know that you like it. And don't forget to subscribe so you know when my next video comes out. But with that, I will leave you guys to it. And thanks so much for watching. Bye!